How's it going, everyone? Goofy Hayden here. How are y'all doing tonight? That's great. So, today, I want to talk about something that's been probably probably brought up a lot in, in the recent years of Call of Duty. Call of Duty's obviously been on a steep decline, you know, since, I mean, the early 2010s, really. You know, Black Ops 2, probably the last of the classical good era, you know, the, the good old days. Ever since then, it's not not been too great, unfortunately. It's it's it is what it is. Especially you've seen with the recent you know Call of Duty Vanguard. You know, no, I don't think much of anybody likes Call of Duty Vanguard. I don't think I don't, I don't even think Activision themselves like Call of Duty Vanguard. Um, Call of Duty's just been on a, on, a, on a horrible decline for some reason. Well, there, there's a lot of reasons, but I mean, like think of, think of, look back. Back to the beginning, or not, to, you know, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, those games. To set nostalgia aside, those games were genuinely fun. Those are actual fun games, even going back now playing them, they're probably fun. But if you get if you get in a lobby without any hackers, those games are still fun. Especially going into, zombie, going into zombies, going into playing the campaigns again, they're all fun games. But... Now you look at these games, and they're like, "What? What's going on here? Not these games are not. It's the same, just monotonous. You either die to a camper, die to a hacker, die. It's just not. It's not. There's no fun. It's, it's horrible nowadays. The games just just playing a multiplayer game. I don't, I don't even play multiplayer anymore. I used to play multiplayer all the time when I get home from school, on the weekends, always playing, always playing multiplayer, but now, I, I have not played a multiplayer, besides Infected, and I haven't done it in years, honestly, since War, since World War II, probably, was the last game I played multiplayer on real, or Modern Warfare, I guess, a little bit, but, I mean, look at the maps from back in the day, you know, like Rust, Nuketown, Shipment, Terminal, Firing Range, all those, the good old games, the games had good maps back then, like, there hasn't been any good original maps in the last few games, like what did uh, Modern Warfare have? Um, off the top of my head, I can't think of any. But you tell me, name some good maps from Modern Warfare 2. Yep. Okay, Terminal, Rust, uh, shit, or a Scrapyard. I mean, there's a lot of good games. Well, almost all the maps from Modern Warfare 2 are good, besides Derail. Derail is not good. And Wasteland. Wasteland was terrible. But. I mean, that more of a, look, look, look at the kill streaks from, from the old games like Modern Warfare 2. You had the AC-130, the nuke, the chopper gunner, the good chopper gunner. It's like those the, those games are actually fun to play multiplayer. And yes, it was all overpowered and and broken, but that's what made it fun. Now it's just horrible. And and the games have been coming out. We've had a game every year for the last 14 years for the, the mainstream. I mean, the, the games have been coming out longer than that, but 14 of the main games. <laughs> In the fifteenth game this year, most likely, it's it just it's just they it, and there's very little of a difference. I mean, there has been a difference now dramatically recently. I mean, like you have the battle pass and and they have all the little store in the menu where you have to sell like one like two skins, like two gun variants, like a, a weapon charm, an emblem, and like a calling card. And it's like twenty dollars. That's absolutely ridiculous. Like the DLC maps and all, like a map pack used to be fifteen dollars, and you get a lot more. The the microtransactions in the game nowadays are just absolutely absurd. The battle pass is okay, but the, the microtransactions are absolutely ludicrous. There is no reason for them to be that expensive for what you get. It's a scam. I don't know why anybody would buy them. It's all to feel, Call of Duty now is just to fuel Warzone. Warzone is is terrible. Warzone has never been good. The entire time it's just been riddled with hackers, and it's just there's no fun in war because people take it way too serious. They act like that's the problem with Call of Duty nowadays is everyone takes the game way too serious. They act like if they if they if they die once in a multiplayer game, they're they're gonna die in real life. So they sweat their ass off trying to not die and they get as many kills. They got a quick scopia. They got to they got to slide around and jump around every corner. They got to use all the the most no recoil. Gun. Nobody nobody uses. People have always used overpowered guns, but. When people just use, like, if someone will kill you, you check their their their, their combat record, and they have like 115,000 kills with the MP5. Like, wow, that's a lot of. You, I I don't. It baffles me. Like nobody, the people act like 
Call of Duty nowadays is, is an esports only game. You have to play. E, uh, you have to play a game like an esports. It make it's. I don't get it. It's not fun. There's no fun in that. Like I always mix up my guns. I want these fun kill streaks. I want to make. I want to try out new weapons and attachment combinations and things like that. And but now it's just it's not good. Everything is just focused on Warzone. All everything is Warzone, 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 Warzone. Warzone. It's just terrible. I don't. I don't. And then they make then so occasionally they actually have good game modes. I mean, I mean it's the same rehash game modes, but at least at least they brought prop hunt in back uh, a little while back. And Pro prop hunt for World War World War, World War Two, which is fun. And then they brought it back in Cold War, which is okay. But then so Black Ops Cold War has prop hunt and stuff, but it doesn't have infected. But Modern Warfare has infected, but not prop hunt. So these games, you have to mix them out. You have to go play a different game to get the right game mode. Because if you want to play a party game, you have to mix and mess. Because it, there's no... It, it's, there's no fun. It, it's, it's... They mix it up and then... Uh, I don't know. It's it, it, it's just there's no creativity left in Call of Duty anymore. The game has been coming out almost 15 years in a row now for multiplayer. It's just the same... Re they, Treyarch especially. All of the maps are just... I, Look at the new game. Like, half the maps are just old maps brought back over. Like, Nuketown is in every single game. Fine, Nuketown, you could bring Nuketown back. That's fine, it's a staple. But they bring this map, and 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 this map. It just it just goes on and on. They, 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 they may, they'll have, like, four original maps. And, and those maps are garbage. Obviously, the good maps from back in the day are good. Because those were good back in the day, because, you know, the, the maps had multiple different paths. Now all the games are just a couple set paths, and it's just, it's, it's, it's terrible. Uh, I, people that still play this game, like, multiplayer and all, it, it, it's, I, I, I don't want to know if I applaud you or, or I feel sorry for you. Like, I, I don't, especially if you play Vanguard, like, I, I don't, the only, I mean, Cold War is okay for zombies. Uh, multiplayer is horrible, but it is what it is. Call of Duty is dead, unfortunately. I mean, hopefully, with Activision, they'll bring it back to life, maybe. But I don't, I don't know. Thanks for thanks for listening to my TED talk. I appreciate it, guys. Y'all have a good night. Y'all stay safe.